Whitney Rose revealed she suffered abuse as a child and blocked memories of her youth for years on Wednesday's episode of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. The 36-year-old reality star broke down crying when she told her husband Justin about a phone call from her half-brother that triggered her to remember parts of her painful past. It's so f-ed up, Whitney said. Do you still love me? Of course I do, babe, Justin said. There is a trauma hidden deep inside of me, Whitney said. I know that. Whitney said her half-brother Will had been doing EDMR, eye movement desensitization and reprocessing therapy, and had remembered things about her childhood. I was actually abused but I just don't remember it, Whitney shared crying with Justin. In a confessional, Whitney shared that she had blocked out a lot of her childhood and relied on her family members to fill in the pieces. All those memories that I've suppressed are all flowing through me now and Terry so much pain and so much anger, Whitney said. It just feels very overwhelming. Whitney told Justin, 52, that when she burned sage in the house that her healer noted there were many demons in her bathrooms. Did he say something that gave you some clarity on that? Justin asked. Whitney motioned yes and cried into Justin's chest. The season 3 episode titled Serenity opened with Jen Shaw's mother Charlene coming over to visit at her daughter's new smaller house ahead of Jen's fraud trial. The fact that I can be accused of these things that I'm innocent of, it scares me. Jen, 47, said in a confessional. I need to know that I'm going to be okay, and she gives that reassurance and comfort. Jen told her about having a call with her lead trial attorney. She said they had a mock trial of the prosecution's side and she had to sit there and not say anything. It was rough, Jen said. I only stormed out twice. Jen said she had to fly out to New York the following week to meet with her legal team. She said things had been hard on her children and started crying. It breaks my heart knowing that Omar is worried about me, Jen said in a confessional about her son. Jen told her mother that the situation had been extremely difficult. If I didn't have a great loving husband and kids, mom, I wouldn't still be here on this earth, Jen said. They want to tear you down until you don't want to live anymore. Jen broke down crying and said she got bullied every single day. Then it's Sherry F's job to come home and try to lift me up this much so I don't want to kill myself and just not be here, Jen said referencing her husband. It's too painful. Charlene said they just needed to get through it. We are strong people, we will get through this together, Charlene said. Thanks, Mom, Jen said. Whitney had Meredith Marks, 49, over at her house. Meredith shared that it was awkward recently with Lisa Barlow, 46, at the party. She has bad-mouthed every single one of us in our circle, Meredith said. Why are you so busy trying to put everyone else down in this way when Terry's all these rumors about you? Meredith then brought up rumors that Lisa had affairs. I just heard that she was doing favors to help get places to pick Vita Tequila, Meredith said referencing Lisa's liquor brand. I have no idea if it's true or false. It sounds absurd to me. I've actually heard the same thing, Whitney said. Whitney said that she heard that Lisa slept with a very wealthy friend of hers to sway him to invest in her business. Whitney said in her last energy session she connected with Lisa and saw her as a scared little girl. 
Meredith wondered why she was bothering with her relationship with Lisa. Whitney said their upcoming trip was going to be all about healing. We can do this, Whitney said. At Lisa's house, she talked to her son Jack about how he didn't want to go to college. Fudge college, honestly Terry's no point to it, Jack said. College is where they go to build machines not humans. Lisa reminded him that she and her husband were currently funding his business. Later, Whitney said she called her other half-brother Curtis about coming to Arizona on a girl's trip and he told them they need to see each other. Whitney and Lisa flew together and Whitney told her that she didn't remember her childhood from age 8 to 17. I started this energy work and am just starting to have memories, Whitney said. Lisa talked about how she forgave herself for her outburst about Meredith. I'm not going to slit my wrist for anybody at this stage in my life, Lisa said. I said sorry four times. If they can't forgive me there is nothing I can do about it. Meredith, Jen and Heather Gay, 40, arrived. Meredith did not say hello to Lisa. Whitney said that she had a shame in coming to help them heal. I wasn't expecting this, Jen said crying. I really need it now more than ever. Heather and Whitney spoke about how she didn't want to be put in the middle of Lisa and Meredith's fight. Whitney said Meredith told her she had heard rumors about Lisa performing sexual favors for the advancement of her tequila line. Heather laughed and Whitney said that it sounded ridiculous. The shame in Ksenia came to the house. Now more than ever I need to release this pain and this heaviness, Whitney said in a confessional. Who better to do it with than this group of girls who are equally as fed up? Meredith was getting glammed while the other women started the healing session. The shaman asked each woman what they were releasing and what they were calling into their lives. I'm releasing the fear of going to trial in 30 days, Jen said. I'm calling on my innocence and to show my family I love them every single second of every single day. Meredith arrived and sat in the only seat next to Lisa. Meredith apologized for not coming earlier. I'm very much triggered by our last trip and having my father's death weaponized against me, Meredith said. I used to feel like I was a safe space for you and I'm sorry, Lisa said. You are not a safe space, Meredith said. Lisa got up and walked away. I'm not going to lie, Meredith said. Jen shared that when she got new information about her trial, she drove down at 3 a.m. to her father's grave. Every time the phone rings, I don't know what I'm going to hear on the other end of the phone, Jen said in a confessional. I am on edge 100% of the time. Whitney started crying. She told them that her childhood memories had been blocked, but they were now flooding back. I was in a very abusive situation but I stuffed it so deep that I blocked all memory of it, Whitney said. The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City will return next Wednesday on Bravo.